This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. Houston police are investigating a tragic shooting death of a pregnant woman. KHOU.com reports from North Houston. Homicide investigators are trying to figure out why a pregnant mother was killed overnight at a North Houston apartment complex. The initial 911 call came from a neighbor who heard shots fired, but police couldn't find a scene. Less than an hour later, another call related to the case came from St. Joseph's Hospital. A deceased young woman was dropped off after she was shot in the face. Investigators said the man who dropped her off left, but came back to be questioned. He identified himself as her boyfriend and is considered a person of interest in the case. He reportedly told them that he showed up at the apartment and she was already dead. Investigators said that they found evidence from the crime both inside and on the porch. They also found some discarded drugs in the bushes near the apartment. A driver is killed by his rear passenger in Oak Cliff. WFAA.com reports from Dallas. A 41-year-old man has been arrested in connection to a March 20th deadly shooting in Oak Cliff. Police say Royal Robinson shot J.L. Armington, 38, several times from inside the same car while Armington was driving. Robinson is the ex-husband of Armington's girlfriend. The vehicle Armington was driving was involved in a crash. A struggle ensued between the two men. Shots hit Armington in the chest and right thigh. Armington was taken to Baylor Hospital where he later died. Robinson has been charged with murder and jailed on $500,000 bond. The FBI is looking in Texas for a dangerous fugitive. The Associated Press reports the FBI is looking for a fugitive wanted for murder. Agents say Henry Solis is wanted in Los Angeles, but they believe he's fled to Mexico or Texas. Solis is considered armed and dangerous. He's a former police officer and served in the Marines, so he has weapons training and survival skills. Solis speaks fluent Spanish and is described as being 5 foot 9 inches tall and weighing 190 pounds. He may have a full beard by now. The FBI is offering up to $25,000 for information that would lead to his arrest. Texas lawmakers proposed a bill to limit the Stand Your Ground gun law. The Associated Press reports from Houston. A proposal by Houston Democrat Representative Garnett Coleman to restrict when Texans are allowed to use deadly force in self-defense is pending in committee and faces a murky future. It seeks to limit Texas' Stand Your Ground law to authorize using deadly force only if a person is in danger and can't safely retreat unless they are at home. Current Texas law is similar to Florida's well-known statute and says people can not use deadly force in most self-defense cases without a duty to retreat. Coleman's proposal seeks to compel the potential victim to try and retreat, but makes an exception for people at home. This is Gene Key, SkyServe News. 